Hey guys, it's Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on Twitter for WrestlingMayhemShow.com at Mayhem Show on Twitter. And uh, it's another 30 days of WrestleMania. We got halfway through the last video with WrestleMania 15. And of course, we went to there is no WrestleMania 16. It's actually WrestleMania 2000, guys. Um, and uh, this is again, this is the height of it. This is a uh, uh, WWE in full swing uh, or WWF in full swing, of course. Um, and I really enjoyed this. Uh, actually, this area is nice for me because I actually have the WrestleMania DVD collection, which I almost want to just throw away at this point because this is the era where they uh, uh kind of uh, covered up all the logos because of that stupid deal they had with the world wildlife fund for a while and i feel like it really ruins the set for me uh but it's a nice box at least um but uh no this was a lot of fun it had the uh you know the the second uh tlc match uh with uh you know uh, christian and edge dudley's and uh the hardy boys of course uh we had a lot of weird sexiness going on with the ladies you know just to remind you that the the women's divisions were not that great back then it was uh the with cat and terry tiny runnels in a uh, it was kind of a wrestling match <laughs> um no it wasn't even that i think it was a cat fight for the title and they threw her out of the ring i, I don't know and val venus was the special guest referee so you can guess the antics there is back when you had um you know the mcmahon's uh, mcmahon in every corner the mcmahon family drama was the big story of the day more than the wrestling in the ring, and uh, and it was entertaining for the time, and it was a lot of drama. It was it was really interesting, and and, and everybody's swerving one way or the other. Um, um, every every week it seemed in this one, uh, you know, Vince even turning on his guy that he brought out for the night. Um, I, I I often I often thought, oh, head cheese. Sorry, I forgot about head cheese. Uh, this is my favorite uh, kind of undercard storyline that never really went anywhere. Uh, Al Snow trying to uh, come up with a team name for him and uh, Steve Blackman, and they brought up a, a little little guy dressed up as as cheese, and they called themselves head cheese as a as a swapping of their names. Um, TLC match, you know, just as good as uh, you know. I remembered these matches. Uh, with with the Dudleys, Hardys, and Edge and Christian are just just absolutely brutal looking, um, and and you know I feel like we get it a little too much these days with our money in the banks and now an inter intercontinental ladder match. They it, it seems like it's just filler, you know, and and that really sucks for how how dangerous those matches are. Um, but uh, you know it was the kind of first one there. Uh, their their main event, kind of you know for having as much as they have, it was great to have Mick Foley. In a main event, after he retired, I, I remember getting the pay-per-views before this and seeing the Mick Foley Cactus Jack retirement, and then he's back again. Um, but uh, really good to see him on top, you know, getting a main event spot. Even if he was, uh, I think, well, I guess he was a second eliminate. I thought he got a little bit less than that. Um, but the match went on forever forever and you see we're creeping up into the back over the uh, three hour mark in these pay-per-views and i guess you know they had more confidence at this point and you can see they're definitely definitely back up on top um also really fun for this one the aggression album just came out ice t accompanies accompanies godfather uh Dilo brown and the hose to the ring and uh of course we had the my favorite run dmc version of the d generation x song um when uh when uh x Pac and road dog came out for their match against uh kane and rikishi hall of famer rikishi coming up by the way uh so that was a lot of fun this is good this is the height of it and um and uh you know we're still at the anaheim pond um but this is the first one before we start doing a bigger arenas as we'll see in wrestlemania x7 because we really started playing with the names around this point so let us know what you you thought of wrestlemania 2000 also could be known as wrestlemania 16 and so much more wrestling mayhem show.com this show is a member of the sorgatron media podcast network find out more at sorgatronmedia.com